GarageBand is not available on Windows PCs or Android devices. In this video, I'm gonna explain why that is. Let's go. Now, for those that are about to write a comment that starts with, well, actually, Pete, you can using a virtual machine or creating a Hackintosh. Yes, technically you can install Mac OS on a Windows PC, but can you then use your plugins and install your hardware and get it working properly? No, not really. But Pete, why am I seeing videos and blog posts and articles and websites all telling me how to download GarageBand? Are you saying that all of those people are lying? Well, yes. Yes, I am. So why are people choosing to spread this misinformation? Well, number one reason, some people are just dicks, but number two is that there's actually profit to be made from misleading people and giving them false hope. You see, a lot of the places these things are shared are actually driven by advertising. So if it's a blog post or a website, they're probably running banner ads so that when you're there on the page, they're actually getting paid to display that information. If it's a video, they're probably monetizing that video, meaning advertising that runs before or after or during the video is actually paying them. So spreading misinformation and getting your hopes up can actually profit the bad guys. And probably the most scary thing is that when you download this software, sometimes it comes included with a little hidden extra, which is spyware or ransomware or a virus, and you install it on your Android tablet or on your Windows PC, and guess what? Suddenly you have a pop-up saying, you need to pay us $200 in Bitcoin, or you are gonna take all your data, or we're gonna destroy your machine. So that is probably the biggest cautionary tale here, that if you download an executable file and install it from a source that you don't know, you are putting yourself and all of your data at risk. Now you may be asking why? Why is it only available on iPhone and iPad and Mac? Well, GarageBand is made by Apple and Apple make GarageBand and make it available for free so that you will buy an iPad or an iPhone or a Mac. They're not in the business of providing it for other platforms because that's going to eat in to their ability to sell their hardware. Okay, Pete, so I'm not going to click on those download links. I'm not going to try and install it on my device. What can I do? What are the alternatives? Well, number one is to get an iPad or an iPhone or a Mac. Now, before you poo-poo that idea, Keep in mind that you can actually pick up some really good deals on secondhand and refurbished iPhones and iPads and even older ones like the iPad Air 2 and the iPhone 6S will still run the latest version of GarageBand and run it pretty well. So for as little as a hundred bucks, you can get yourself into the GarageBand world and have a lot of fun creating music. Already own a really good Windows machine or Android tablet? Well, no problem. There's a heap of alternatives. On Android, you could use something like Caustic, Entrack Studio, or even FL Studio. And on your Windows PC, you've got Cakewalk by BandLab that's completely free. You've got Reaper, which is a great option. And even Audacity can help you create music if you're not in the Apple world. So I hope you found this video useful. Check out the links down in the description to my iPad and iPhone buyer's guide. A heap more information about GarageBand and links to those alternative bits of software. Just get out there and create music any way you can, but don't click on those dodgy links. You'll thank me in the long run.